Hey everyone, welcome to budget exam prep. So in this trigopedia session, we are going to learn how to find the signal to quantization noise ratio in case of uniform quantization. So because you know that uh, there are many questions came from this uh, particular topic that uh, there are multiple PDFs are given, means a variety of questions in which the different PDFs are given and uh, you have to find either the quantization noise ratio or you need to find the signal to quantization noise ratio. In that case, uh, you can use this particular method. And uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. So this is Akshat Verma, and I'm having more than 13 years of experience. And I teach the different subjects like electromagnetic theory, signalization system, communication system, and ICT. Along with that, uh, advanced communication for ESC. And I have also created a different PSU exam. So as you can see that the signal to quantization noise ratio, because when we quantize, we actually approximate the amplitude to the nearest uh, uh, quantization level. So in this way, we round off the uh, values of the input signal and by which we create the error. And that error is known as quantization error. So for that quantization error, if we suppose calculate the power or the mean square value, then we will get the quantization noise power because the noise or the error is nothing but the uh, side side of uh, you know the sub subset of the error. Okay, because of the noise, the error comes. Okay, so the signal to quantization noise ratio reflects the relation between the maximum nominal signal strength and the quantization error. Introduced in the analog to radial conversion, the signal to quantization noise ratio is signal power to the noise power. If we give input as a message signal and suppose I get the quantized signal in QT. And suppose my message signal, which I am giving the input as having the lowest amplitude VN and having the highest amplitude VH. In that case, we can calculate the step size by the VH minus VH divided by L. Now the step size uh, is delta. And if suppose the step size is significantly small, then the in the uniform quantization, the quantization error is having the range from minus delta by 2 to delta by 2. In this way, if I consider this as a uniformly distributed, then it is ranging from minus delta by 2 to delta by 2. So to make this area 1, we will have the height of 1 upon delta. So to calculate the noise power, you will calculate the quantization noise ratio, uh, noise power, you will calculate the mean square value of your quantization error, which can be minus infinite to infinite, q is square f of q dq. Now you know the value of uh, uh, this is ranging from minus 1 upon minus uh, delta two by 2 to plus delta by 2, the quantization error, and here it is 1 upon delta dq. And after solving this, you will get delta square by 12. Okay, or either you can calculate this by the formula b square plus ab plus a square divided by 3, where b is the highest value of the uniformly distributed random variable. And uh, this a is the lowest value, so minus a by delta by 2 and a by 2, and this is minus a by 2 whole square. So by which you calculate, it, then also you will get the delta square by 12. So you are getting the quantization noise power as delta square by 12 in case of uniform quantization. And if suppose uh, I want to calculate the signal to quantization noise ratio for your sinusoidal signal, then the signal power is suppose Sx, which is equal to amplitude square divided by 2 because it is having the uh, sinusoidal method signal. Now, if I want to calculate the signal to quantization noise ratio, then it is nothing but the signal power, which is am square by 2, and the noise power, which is delta square by 12, and uh, by substituting the value of delta, which is uh, uh, vh minus vl whole square divided by l square into 12, you will get the 3 by 2 l square. So, here you can see that the signal to quantization noise ratio in dB is nothing but 1.76 plus 6 n. So if you increase the number of bit by 1, then the signal to quantization noise ratio increased by increased by what? 6 dB. That means the 1 bit contributes, okay, 1 bit contributes the 6 dB. Okay, 1 bit contributes 6 dB in the signal to quantization noise ratio. If you want to increase your signal to quantization noise ratio by 6 dB, then you have to increase the number of bit by 1. Like that, if you want to reduce the quantization noise power, then quantization noise power is inversely proportional to 2 to the power 2 n. 
So if you increase the number of bit by one, then the quantization noise power is reduced by a factor four. In this way, you have to calculate the signal to quantization noise ratio for uniform quantization. So whenever uh, there is a uniform quantization and the output is midpoint of the decision boundary, you can use the quantization noise power as delta square by 12. Thank you for watching this Trichopedia session. So this is very important uh, relation that you should know that how to calculate signal to quantization noise ratio for sinusoidal and for uniform quantization, if the output is midpoint of the decision boundary and your PDF is uniform, then you can calculate your quantization noise power by delta square by 12. Thank you.